New questions tonight about a tragedy blamed on a suspected drunk driver who was underage. Last night we first told you about the devastating loss for the family of an elderly man killed in that crash. And while the 19 year old suspect awaits her day in court, 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson tells us the investigation is far from over. We now know that 19 year old suspect Morgan Coley was not alone in the vehicle. She told police she was driving her boyfriend's truck. Her 23 year old boyfriend was allegedly asleep in the passenger seat. This is drone seven video of where the crash took place. It was Thursday night, 10 18 PM. 81 year old Hans Schwabach was driving south on Utica in his SUV. 19 year old Morgan Coley and her boyfriend were traveling north in his truck. When police say Coley, who was behind the wheel, suddenly swerved out of the northbound lanes and careened across the left turn lane. Accident investigators' markings on the ground show the SUV ended up in the grass, the truck in the southbound lanes. One thing missing from this picture? Most crash sites I've been to, there's usually tire tracks in the road from somebody slamming on their brakes. But check this out. There are no tire tracks or any other visible signs that somebody hit the brakes and people nearby noticed. It was like no screeching, no nothing. It was just like loudest boom. It was the loudest noise I've ever heard. Joanne Trovato was home when it happened. I knew it was something bad. And part of me didn't want to go look. <laughs> Over the weekend, Schwabach died of his injuries, and on Monday, Coley's felony charges were increased, and her boyfriend's dad started door knocking. The father came to my door because he said that was his son involved. He wanted to know if I was out there. His son got blamed for it, but it really wasn't his son's fault. Clinton Township Police say they are still interviewing witnesses and executing search warrants. Investigators are requesting data from the black boxes in both vehicles and attempting to find out exactly where the 19 year old suspect was drinking before this deadly crash. When you hear a story like this where somebody underage was drinking, of course, the question, where were they drinking? How did they get a hold of the alcohol? At this point, there are some conflicting stories, but Clinton Township Police say they will get to the bottom of it and, if necessary, file additional charges. In Clinton Township, Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. All right, thank you, Jennifer Ann.